Oh, just walk off. Here's the ninth one. Right on cue. The skipper's got one. He joins the club of those with the ball in hand in this opening session. Oh, like slow-mo. Well, here it is in slow-mo. The bounce and away movement doing the trick on this occasion. Windy as well. Putting a lot of pressure on Bangladesh. That is the end of it. On target. And it's Bangladesh's lowest total in test matches. As well, he'd been showing him the stumps all over Jayed. And it was just a matter of Holder just getting one directed at them. Oh, good shot. Very good shot. I should find the boundary of the does. Holder is a lovely cover driver of the ball. He's a tall man as well. Hassan has to remember that. Mehedi, that is, not Shaki. Well, he said that he's going to take on the spinners. He talked about the length and he smashed that over the long on boundary for a huge six. First six of the match comes from the bat of uh, the captain of the Windies team, Jason Holder. He's a powerful striker of the ball and that's riding the wind that comes strongly across your screen from left to right. So it'll give it some help and it has given it some help if it needed it. Oh, more lofted stuff. Man back at long arm, but he doesn't even bother moving. Just watches it sail over his head and into the stand. Yes, he's a tall man, he's got a lot of reach. And this one was right up in his zone. In terms of the double I'm talking about, that'll go away. You can't bowl full tosses in this form of the game. Yeah, 1,000 runs and taking 50 wickets as a captain for the West Indies in Test Match Cricket. So, nice little double there. He joins Gary Sobers and Darren Sammy. And there it is. Right on cue. Went a little bit wider and got it fuller. Well done, Skip. Nick to the keeper. One more down. So there are some positives to take out of this game. Well, looks like I put the marker on him. Yeah, the decision goes on the final decision goes on the big screen. Okay, forward, forward. Take it forward, take it forward. Thank you very much. You can load out on the big screen. It continues the struggle to score runs. To spend a lot of time out in the middle for Bangladesh. Confirmation that he'll have to go. Ah, uh, your wish is my command, Ian Bishop. This is uh, Tiger, that's a good save. Is it uh, Maybe one of the bowlers, I think. It's Cameron, I think. Did well. Oh, in the air. Flashy from Holder. So we've just seen two deliveries come off thick outside edges of the Windy's captain's blade. It's an area that I think against Sri Lanka, we talked about bowling this line and this length to Holder. He succumbed at Kensington Oval because he likes to feel bat on ball away from the body. Bangladesh didn't have the confidence to have an extra catcher to the new batsman. Nice shot from Jason Holder. Very typical of him. If it's over pitch, he's got long arms and he's a strong man. Gets a six. Just moving away making enough room to free his arms. Terrific hit. And again, this will go all the way. That's the order of the day for Jason Holder. Thinks he needs a lot more runs. And it was a good catch in the crowd as well. He's taken that uh, way outside the off stump. He's played against the spin, but enough on the bat, even though it hit the bottom part of the bat. 
That's a powerful blow, sh stroke. Very powerful shot uh, from uh, Jason Holder. Very well bowled by Jason Holder. This one, possible misjudgment. May have gotten a little bit of an inside edge. But didn't cater for that inward movement. Oh, close, 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 gone! Mamadullah's gone! Mamadullah, very early, expecting probably a little more bounce. But he was making the adjustment by pulling that front foot back. Wide on the crease and there. There! He's just done the trick! There we go! Let's check the front foot and make sure. Had to say it, I'm sorry. Really? He got his man as the skipper. Getting too adventurous. Spoke about uh, him scoring in boundaries. Saw it, trying to hit it on the up. Might have just gotten a little bit of an inside edge. He was on the move. And he gets it. Five wicket haul for the Windies captain. The third of his career. The second of this home international season. They won't enforce the follow-on. And uh, that is understandable for all the reasons you just heard. Good performance again by the Windies. Jason Holder finishing up the innings. Hitting Jai's middle stump to take another five-wicket haul. Oh, he's hit him in front and he's going to give him... Look to keep a little bit low. Umpire reckons it would have hit the stumps. Uh, Ravi pitching outside off, impact in line, wickets hitting. Uh, we're going to go back to Ravi on field, please. You can stay with your original decision on camera now. And out, Sal received Darren Ganga. Captain, please do not transgress the front line, Skip. You're looking at uh, closing out a test match. You've got to have that killer instinct. Jason Holder showing it exactly with the ball. Oh, there's a big shout here. Fingers up as he got another golden one. No reviews. And the celebrations begin here for the Windies at Sabina. Nurul Hassan, who played that brilliant innings in the first test, yet again doesn't trouble the scorers. He gets another one. He gets another one. He's having a ball of a time. With both bat and ball, captain removes captain. Four wickets to Jason Holder. Session order. Oh, look at that nip back in quite sharply. You're talking about uh, how he's used the new ball and also the Duke ball with pronounced seam. Terrific delivery. Oh, that looks out. That's 10 for, for the skipper, Jason Holder. Best match figures for the West Indian versus Bangladesh. Yeah, celebrations massive for the Windies. To hit him right in front of middle stump. And he's done it! Last ball of this over. And he salutes to the heavens. Jason Holder does indeed get six for. Wonderful performance from the home side. Final wicket. And. Triumph, relief, all sorts of emotions for Jason Holder.